Hello. Back here at a 1942 vintage Cincinnati number two tool and cutter grinder. And what I gotta do is uh, sharpen a bunch of boring tools that I've let uh, get dull. And uh, I'll, I'll give you kind of an overview and uh, show you the simple way I do this. Okay, I'll detach the camera here. There we go. Well, Here's a collection of boring tools here. A lot of them I've made. Ones like this uh, looks more like a fly cutter and it actually can be used as a fly cutter. It's shaped like that. Let me see where that is, over here. So it could be used in the more boring head that has very little travel. So you make the uh, your boring tool larger. Okay. Get back to that. And uh, I, I just got all kinds of homemade stuff here. Here's a, a, a facing tool. It could bore also for a wall hopter. I made that out of a 7 8 inch hitch pin. You know, just braised carbide to things. Here's some commercial ones too. I use them. All right. Now, over here, I've got, um, I, I believe that's a Starrett 567 V block mounted into a, a collet. The V block has threaded holes, so I just made a little tail for it to, uh, to mount here in the work head. And uh, see, so it can rotate here. I, I, I swung it around, and uh, I could put a square here against it and uh, set it to zero right here on this scale. See, that gives you your, your tilt. So it's, it's all really very simple. And uh, I'll, I'll get uh, in, in there. I have a, uh, one of my homemade uh, boring bars that I braised a, a carbide blanket to, and I need to sharpen that. Now, the uh, commercial bars, remember we uh, tested those on a surface plate, and they have considerably more clearance on the front, some of them like 14 degrees on the side. I reduced that a bit, uh, just to make the tool stronger. You know, and uh, most of these tools here, these boring tools, I made for a specific job. I had, that I had to make them for. And then, you know, once you make a tool, then you can continue using it. Okay, I'm going to get this mounted up here and see if I can get you a little bit of a bird's eye view into uh, the cutter grinder. Okay, I think we do. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Kind of close. Now, I'll get this set here. Uh, somewhere about, uh, I'll see where it is. That's one thing you can quickly do. Let's just see just where that tool happens to be right now. Okay. It is seven and a half degrees clearance. And I kind of like that clearance for that tool. So I'll lock it in there with that little knob, and I'm going to bring this around. Now I'll get this uh, a little better situated and get you about as close as I can. Get the uh, table on over here. <laughs> it's close here. Okay, that's that's getting pretty close. Let's see if I can zoom you right in there a little better. That is actually pretty close. So let's try that. Okay. I'll get around there. Hmm. Okay, get her going. I think I've got everything I need back there. 
Okay, I'm back here, and I'm going to check, uh, run that forward a little bit, and I'll put a square here, where a ruler works, and just kind of adjust that back around. the head there. Okay. Put a little bit of ink on the face of that. That's a lot easier to see. Put that back where I'll find it too. Okay, I'm gonna fire it up. Get stuff around here. I'm gonna go ahead and just touch that wheel a little bit with this dresser. Can't remember what I was doing it with the ass. I don't know if you can see that, but it uh, looks a little bit cleaner that way. I'm going to right over. I'm going to the camera. Okay, move it on over. Make sure everything's tied. Looking good. And I'm sure it's pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to touch it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn the back just a few thousand. It's not very long. So I just ground it back. And I'll, uh, I'll polish this uh, a bit with the uh, worn down easy lap. Get that all nice and very, very sharp and hand do a radius on that. That's uh, a boring bar I use in the jig board. Okay. I think I got some time here. I'll do, uh, yeah, I'll do, I, th I'll, I think I can do a real quick uh, standard boring bar. Here's the regular criterion type. It's dull. Let's stick it in there just basically like that. These, you know, don't have any uh, back or much side rake. And so I just kind of get it so it looks pretty good. I don't think it's real critical. Tighten that and move it over. So I'm going to have to a little more clearance. Okay, now I check uh, height 
we're very simply here. And we're, we're looking good there. Okay, I'll tie, get a little bit of ink on the front of it. And away we go. Oh, that adjusts the uh, angle here. It's a little bit. Let me see. No, I don't want it that much. Uh, I'll just back this up. I'm going to do it just by eye, and I say that's good enough. That's it. Good, make sure everything's snug. Very good. Snap. Get going. And that's all there is to it. So that's it. 